Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze again the Bitcoin price and compare it to the DXY. We have some very nice price action going on right now. Bitcoin is looking again very bullish but we still have some very huge warning signs. So we're going to analyze today again all the time frames but before we start with the content my friends just a little update on this Primex BT co-vesting feature because currently there is only one officially strategy from no one trader so from this trader that had over 10,000 percent gains that closed his strategy this is right now the only official strategy from the same trader so this no one scalper this is the one that you can follow if you're interested in following this very profitable trader over on prime xpt so of course there is also a very high risk when you're following other traders but this one is the one that is very popular right now and as you can see there are a lot of fake accounts where some other traders are using this no one name so the people maybe think that this is the same trader but the only one that is official is here this no one scalper this is the only one at the moment that is from the same trader as the one that we had with over 10,000 percent of gains so if you're interested in do this co-vesting thing with the same trader so this is the one that you have to try to get a slot here you just have to click here follow and you can put the money that you want that will be copy trading along this trader of course there are also a lot of other traders which are very profitable but I know that there are a lot of people that are trying to follow this no one trader and that's why make sure that you follow the official one if you're looking for this trader otherwise of course there is also other very profitable traders out there that you can follow and if you need a prime xpt account make sure that you use my referral link down below here in the video description to support the channel and also if you want to trade at your own of course then you can open up for example on femex or bybit an account with my links down below here so you will get some extra bonus if you fulfill all the requirements and if you are new in the trading space then make sure to join my discord trading chat the chat is completely for free we have a very great community over there and this is also where you can get access to my live stream of my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin and of course if you're completely new in the crypto space make sure to open up an account over on swissborg and coinbase with those two exchanges you can easily buy cryptos with credit card and also with your bank account and currently we still have some free slots here to claim some free altcoins through coinbase earn so if you have coinbase make sure to use those invitation links down below here to get for example some free compound eos or cheat or stellar so you can claim them completely for free if you have coinbase and now my friends let's start with the content and we're going to start here on the cmes this is currently the four hour time frame and as you can see we created over the weekend this cme gap between 16,300 down to 16,000 dollar and as you can see this morning we already filled this future gap and now we're gonna have to see what will happen here if bitcoin is gonna pump further up towards the resistance of 16,700 dollar and also break above we will most likely go towards new levels potentially also to break this huge resistance that we have currently between 16,000 and 20,000 dollar but if bitcoin potentially is going to top out here at these levels at least here for the short term we're gonna see here a massive correction which will most likely take us again towards 14,000 dollar and potentially even lower because a breakout of this rising wedge that we are in currently will bring us at least towards the beginning of this rising wedge right here at fourteen thousand eight hundred dollar but if we potentially are crashing towards these levels i think it is also very likely that maybe we will continue to have a massive correction because the indicators are still very overbought especially in the lower time frames and also in the bigger time frames like the daily time frame and before we go into the spot market let's have a quick look into the dxy as well because here you can see that we had here continuation to the downside we are again below 9260 
and the DXY is looking like it's gonna have a bounce right now. So if the DXY is able to push again towards the 20 moving average here at $93 and maybe even have a four hour close above this price level, I think we could be in here for a correction in the Bitcoin price and a little pump here in the DXY. But if we're getting rejected here and we continue to drop lower, then expect continuation to the upside in the Bitcoin price. And therefore, let's go over into the spot chart because currently Bitcoin is again trading above the 20 moving average, which of course is very bullish. You can see that we tried to push higher here during the weekend, but we didn't manage to close a four hour candle above the 20 moving average. And this is what happened with this last candle. So what I'm expecting right now is that the price eventually comes down to test the 20 moving average in the four hour here at $16,000. And from there on, we're gonna create a new base and a confirmation that this is the new support. And from there on, we're gonna see another big leg to the upside potentially to test here the $16,800 resistance that we have currently. Also we have the RSI above the 50 level which of course is bullish and we should expect here a big bounce to the upside only if we're gonna crash again below the 20 moving average here and also have a four hour close below then this was a fake out and we will potentially see a correction here at least towards this $14,800 and also if you go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are still trading on the upper areas on the bullish side. But if we correct now down here towards the middle line and we don't confirm here now the $16,000 as the new support, we potentially just going to see continuation to the downside. And in that case, the first target is to reach this $14,800. We have all the indicators now shifted to the downside, but if Bitcoin is able to close four hour candles above $16,000, we should see here some nice bullish momentum kicking in. So if here we're gonna have a bullish cross in the MACD and KSD, then be prepared to see another big leg to the upside, which potentially take us towards $17,000. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that currently we are still closing daily candles above the nine day moving average. Also during the weekend, we just came down to test the nine day and then immediately had another bounce to the upside. And I told you, as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine day moving average, everything is good to go to the upside. As soon as we're gonna have a daily close below this moving average, then be prepared for a correction, at least towards the 20 daily, which is also right here at around $14,800. In the worst case scenario, I think we maybe could come back into this channel that we were in here in the last couple of weeks and then even go down towards the bottom here of around eleven thousand five hundred dollar but at the moment it is not very likely that we will see those levels unless of course we are starting to close daily candles below these important moving averages up here. Also the problem is still that in my own indicator you see we got different sell signals also the RSI is still looking very overbought so a correction of course is in the cards but since Bitcoin is still moving nicely here along the nine day moving average I'm still expecting continuation to the upside and before a bigger correction we might see even 20k and higher. So don't try to sell the rallies or try to catch the tops my friends try to accumulate as much Bitcoins as possible Possible. If we're gonna see such a massive correction, buy as much as you can, try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible because we are just at the beginning of a massive bull run here. And what we are seeing right now, these price levels is gonna be very, very cheap in the next couple of months and years. And you will regret that you didn't buy even more Bitcoin. So if we're gonna have a correction, then buy as much as possible, but don't try to sell the rallies, don't try to catch the tops and hope for cheaper prices so you can buy even more bitcoins. Try to catch the bottoms and try to accumulate as much bitcoins as possible. And if we have a look now into the DXY in the daily time frame, confirms my theory even more because of course here if we zoom out you can clearly see that the DXY always has been in a downtrend, always has been in a bear market even though of course sometimes we see pushes to the upside but also now you can see that the DXY is very very weak and we should expect a big continuations to the downside also because we are currently getting still rejected from the 20 and 50 daily moving average and that of course is very bearish for the DXY and we should expect here a massive downtrend dump incoming very very soon here which is of course very bullish for the Bitcoin price and also for the stock market. 
And now let's have also a look here into the Bollinger Band in the daily because currently here, as you can see, we are bouncing from the nine day moving average and the top currently is right here at $17,000. So it is very likely that if Bitcoin is able to close those next four hour candles above 16,000, that we're gonna see 17,000 incoming pretty soon. And there, of course, we're gonna have to see if we are able to build up a support up here or if we're gonna get rejected immediately because of course there will be some people taking profits. So be aware that there could be kind of a blow off top if we're topping out somewhere like here. And also you can see that currently MACD and KST are looking like that we could get here a bearish cross and that of course would give us even more bearish signs that we could be in here for a correction at least towards the 20 daily right here at $14,800, potentially even lower. And the bottom of the Bollinger Band right now is at $12,800 and this is also what I think a realistic price level if we're going to see a massive correction here if also here the MACD and KSC are going to have a bearish cross and we are not able to close the next four hour candles above $16,000. And at the end, we're gonna have a look on the weekly time frame because as you can see currently also here, we are getting very exhausted here, very overbought in my own indicator and also in the RSI. So a correction is very likely to come. The question is only if Bitcoin is able to push higher towards 20K before a correction, or we're gonna see a bigger correction right now, potentially down towards the 20 weekly moving average at around $12,000 and then continue here, the big parabolic run to the upside. But if we're gonna have a major correction down towards these levels. I think that might be the last opportunity to buy cheaper Bitcoin like we're seeing right now. So make sure that you are already ready to buy Bitcoin at those price levels if the price is dropping towards this moving average. So make sure that you have already created a Bybit Femex account to open up long positions and also that you're ready to buy over on Coinbase or Swissborg with fiat money. So make sure that you already are set if we're gonna see such a correction because if Bitcoin is falling again 14 or $13,000, we're probably only gonna be for a couple of minutes down at those levels before we're gearing up again for a big move to the upside. So if we're gonna see a correction here towards those levels down here I think it's gonna be very short-lived so currently as you can see we had now the last couple of weeks all in green here we closed one bullish candle after the other here in the weekly time frame so of course there is always a high chance of a bigger correction when we see the price moving like this but Bitcoin of course can also just ignore it and continue to push way way higher potentially again towards 20 K. So that's why my friends don't try to catch the tops, try to catch dips, try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as you can once we're gonna see such a possible correction. Because we are now in an uptrend, we are in a bull run, we are just at the beginning and during a bull market you always should consider to buy every dip that we're gonna have during this massive bull run and never panic sell or try to sell the rallies. Just buy Bitcoin and put it by side on a hardware wallet or wherever you want because this is going to be life changing and you definitely don't want to miss out the next parabolic cycle. And with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit the like button. Currently we have over 50 likes on the last video. So thank you very much, my friends. Very much appreciated your support. So make sure to smash also this button right now for this video. And of course, you're very welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everything is completely for free and I do daily TA videos on Bitcoin. So you will never miss out on any update. Thank you for watching my friends. Enjoy your Monday and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!